The magazine slash website Lifehacker, yes, the tech website, has just announced that Northwest Arkansas is one of the best U.S. cities to be in a tech job in America. And we're going to dissect every juicy little detail why. So let's talk about that. Hey, everybody. If you don't know who I am, my name is Philip Shepard. I'm a local real estate agent located right here in Northwest Arkansas. If you weren't aware, I actually was a real estate broker located in the dumpster fire, the horrible, the no good, terrible state also known as Illinois or Chicago, the worst. Anyways, I decided to look to move to the best place to live in America. I, across all social research and many other places in America, Northwest Arkansas is by far the best place to live in America, by far. If you ever want to talk about why I chose Northwest Arkansas versus anywhere else in America, call me, let me know for coffee, text me, email me, whatever the case is, we can sit down and talk about why I chose Northwest Arkansas versus anywhere else in America. And if you haven't been down to Northwest Arkansas quite yet, I made something called the NWA Starter Pack. Sounds exactly like what it is. It's literally a starter pack full of all the cool things north of Arkansas. What's going on downtown Benville? What's going on in Fayetteville? What are the schools like? What are the hospitals like? All the things you need to know about North Arkansas. Boop, 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 boop. All the cool things to do here. Boop, 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 boop. Package ship right to your home. Literally ship package ship right to your home. Enter your name below. Enter your address below. Where am I shipping this package to? Let me know with all the information below and make sure they get the package shipped to you right away. Also, side note, it does come with your first free mountain bike, so that's pretty cool. And, 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 and I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. It is my favorite four-letter F word. Free! So enter your information below and make sure they get the package shipped to you right away. All right, and so let's get the big first Y out of the way. And the Y also starts with a W, and that is known as, wait for it, wait for it, Walmart. Ha ha! Who'd have thought? No, but it's on, being serious, like in the actual scheme of Walmart, even though if we've all been to Walmarts, we've all been to Walmarts. We see it as a consumer facing good logistics. You buy groceries there, buy some random stuff, etc. But behind the scenes, Walmart is actually more of a tech centric thing than anything. The thing that a lot of people don't know about Walmart specifically is the fact that anyone who works directly with Walmart, whether it's like Nestle or 3M or Coca-Cola or Pepsi or whatever big brand, Mars, whatever big brand you want to say in there has to have a presence here in North Arkansas. So they have multiple, if not dozens, if not hundreds of employees that work in North Arkansas just for Walmart. Now you times that by a couple thousand brands, adds up pretty quickly. But regardless, let's just talk about briefly about some of the tech that Walmart is actually involved in. We're not gonna make a whole video about this, but just this one little section, let's talk about just what tech Walmart is working in currently. And so the first one even just mentioned this article, but things I'm aware of, last mile delivery. So for instance, the technology that happens between like Walmart and also the actual uh, house itself. So the, that whole technology there, there's a lot of breakdown there because they know that there's a lot of Walmarts within a couple mile radius of actual like uh, of actual consumers. So whether it's like drones or EVs or whatever the case, electric, electric vehicles, last mile delivery is a big deal for uh, Walmart. Now we're gonna break down a little bit more, but basically electric, electric vehicles, obviously if you live here in North Arkansas, you'll see them demoing driverless vehicles all the time. You'll see them with EVs all the time. A lot of the vehicles that go around here, both in Bentonville and around the area, sometimes they're driverless, but most of the time they're like EVs or they're like sitting in the passenger seat letting do things. So that's last mile delivery. Drone service from drones flying from Walmart over dropping food off and stuff in people's backyards or in their front stuff, also a big deal. So, you know, eventually the goal for Walmart is to create this artificial intelligence, I'm guessing, vehicle that drives itself, that actually, you actually walk out, pick the groceries up out of the, out of the uh, van, and then you walk away. I'm guessing this kind of deal there, and that's a lot of technology, that's why a lot of tech startups that exist here are driverless startups, because they're trying to, honestly, you know, work with Walmart for obvious reasons. But regardless, just that alone, I'm looking at my stuff over here, but like obviously robots are a big deal. Actually just in Fayetteville, they just opened up the first robotic, um, uh, what do you call it, the sorting. So if you go to Walmart, you can pre-order stuff and they bring it out to your car. Um, like the, obviously it's like the pickup and delivery thing. In, in Fayetteville now, in one of the Walmarts here, there's a big huge uh, thing attached to it on the inside full of, obviously it's inside the building, you see it but it's uh, basically all robots and they sort out all the uh, product and then you actually back up to your car to it and actually they put it in your car for you. So it's eliminating that kind of like walk around the store, people picking stuff and putting cards and like it's done behind the scenes on by robots. So 
Just stuff like that is very tech-centric in Walmart specifically, hence why the article is mentioning just the fact, and this article doesn't know everything that I know because they don't live here and see what I see, but even they know that there's a big tech push just behind Walmart. And the second reason why they actually named Bentonville, Arkansas as a tech-centric place to get a good tech job in like, one of the best places in America, and this, they alluded to this in the article a little bit, but it was off, obviously part of the whole package with Northwest Arkansas, is both J.B. Hunt and Tyson. Now, J.B. Hunt, if you're not aware, is actually a transportation company, logistics company, and then Tyson is one of the biggest, or if the biggest food processor in the world. So just imagining consumer goods, packaging, technology, labeling, artificial intelligence, robots, all the different things that come with those things, whether it's logistics, when it comes to like driverless vehicles, when it comes to obviously logistical algorithms. Like there's a startup here that's being currently, I'm guessing, wanting to be working with JP Hunt is the fact that they have a algorithm and a tech startup that essentially allows trucks to uh, go back and like, instead of go, instead of overnight driving from all the way from like California to New York, what they can do is almost like a relay system where they can go from, let's say, even from here, like Northwest Arkansas to Kansas City, then Kansas City back to Northwest Arkansas. And they just do that all the time. And then someone from Kansas City goes to St. Louis and they just, it's almost like a chain effect. And there's an algorithm that says, based on all these different things and blah, 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 that says this is more efficient than, uh, than actually like over the road driving because you're limited to how many hours you can drive per day, et cetera. So stuff like that exists here in Northwest Arkansas and startups like that, as well as Tyson, it has their own stuff going on as well. So those two big companies also drive a lot of tech and tech is needed for those things because of just the future itself. And before we jump on to the next point, I have something brand new called Instant Home Updates. So maybe you're looking to move to the area and using things like Realtor.com, Zillow.com, or Redfin, way too slow. Notifications, way too slow. That's why I made something called Instant Home Updates. Sounds exactly what it is, little Instant Home Updates. So enter your information below, name, bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, where do you want to move to North Arkansas? Let me know with all the information below. I may, I'll make sure to miss a single notification when it comes for homes for sale or for rent, all in Northwest Arkansas. Also, every single Friday, I send an email out just kind of talking about all the cool things in Northwest Arkansas. What's going on in Tom Benville? What's going on in Rogers? What new businesses are moving here? What's going on in the amphitheater? What's going on over to Walton Anderson? What's going on in Fayetteville? What is it? So much going on all the time, all the time. Enter your name below, enter your email below. I'll make sure you get that email every single Friday, but Oh, sadly, side note, you will get a little fear, fear of missing out, a little FOMO, so to speak. But I promise you will be the most important person eventually when you make your way down to Northwest Arkansas. And the third reason why Bentonville, Arkansas was rated one of the top best places to find a tech job in America, and that is because of just acquiring companies. Now, I've been kind of alluding this into my little before this, was there's a lot of startups here that are working with Walmart, working with Tyson, working with JV Hunt, working with Simmons, working with a bunch of other larger companies that exist here with the idea to be acquired. So there have been, and I've worked with a lot of them as well, a lot of the companies have moved from Texas and California and Colorado and Illinois and Florida to come here because they want to honestly work directly with Walmart or JB Hunt or Tyson or Simmons or whoever, or get acquired. Like the one that was working with JB Hunt, that is the whole like transportation thing, that seems like a great acquire. But the thing about it is that if you are in a tech, like I've met a lot of people that are in like very artificial intelligence space and they're working with photography and video cameras and stuff that they want to eventually get in, in obviously put into Walmarts for products and stuff of that nature. So you get the idea of like anything that's involved with those kind of bigger companies, a lot of times they'll move here to be directly working with them. So if there's ever a meeting of sorts or if they want to sell directly to them, they're right here. So a lot of times when it comes to companies moving here, the idea is to be acquired. And if you want your company to be acquired, you move to the place of where your possible best you know, suitor is to say the least. And the fourth and final reason why Bentonville, Arkansas was named one of the best places to find a tech job in America. And this goes a lot, it was just one line in the article, but it goes a long way from the other competitors is that it said Bentonville, Arkansas home prices. Now Bentonville itself has been, not, has been notorious for not having this, but they say, and it's true, Benville, Arkansas has a 20% cheaper housing overall than any other part of America. Even still, like people have said like Benville's expensive and this, there are certain parts of Benville that are expensive and though you can assume those parts are, AKA downtown, near Colder, near the, all the different trail systems. But regardless is that there's a lot of parts of, of Benville in general that are still way below the average pricing of a home in America. I think the average price is around like 
415-ish, 430, but you can definitely find homes in Bend, Arkansas for 350, sometimes 325, but definitely in the 375 range, which is still in 400, which is definitely way below um, the average price in America. So even if you want to get a tech job, if you want to have a high paying tech job, having a house that's affordable, unlike San Fran, which is like $2 million condo with the problems that exist out there, I'll leave those alone for a different day. But regardless, having a house in Bentonville, Arkansas with a really good tech job and high potential is a lot different than, than with a good salary, is a lot different than living in San Fran with problems and a high, high, decent high salary, but also a huge crippling mortgage at the same time. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Again, if you are thinking about coming down to Northwest Arkansas, download my three-day itineraries, link below. Maybe you're adventure, maybe you're a sports person, maybe you're a foodie, maybe you're a sightseeing, maybe you have kids, whatever it is, haha. <laughs> whatever it is, there's three day itineraries linked down below for you. So go ahead and download them and use them to get down here. Also, when you do come down here, I can give you the 10 dollar tour so I can kind of show you around the whole area. Plus, we could check out some home for sale or for rent and see how far your dollar will go in Northwest Arkansas compared to where it comes from. All right, guys, let's see the next one. Ooh.